After that six for nine rookie campaign closing in on 1.2 million made. It's post time for tonight's 11th race. Here they come. Often pacing Trump that's trying to out sprint them as they leave the starting gate he goes for and gets command. Drop to the pocket spot is Backstreet Shadow. Then third to Dance and Doug racing fourth stay hungry. Hidden Delight is fifth away back to in the field sharp action money and Levi's Day. Driving into that first turn long shot leader Trump that Though Jingra hits the accelerator right now from the pocket spot comes Backstreet Shadow sweeping up to take command 27 flat. They zip that first quarter and it's Backstreet Shadow to the front now. Back into second we go to find Trump that sitting just off the speed from in third is Dance and Doug. A gap of almost three to stay hungry from in fourth. Fifth inside to Hidden Delight. Sharp action money sixth. Trailing seventh Levi's Day as they move across the backstretch and head towards the half. With the lead is Backstreet Shadow as he cruises by that post in 55 flat. Trump that second, third inside to Dance and Doug. Stay hungry towards the rail from in fourth, yet to move. Then it's back inside fifth to Hidden Delight. Sixth overland is Sharp Action Money and scooting up the rail is Levi's Day. Stay hungry, he's up and driving now with three eights to go. The one they're chasing is Backstreet Shadow. Gingras surveys the backfield situation. Here's McNair first over with Stay Hungry. Trump that's in the pocket spot. Three quarters of a mile 123 and one just 28 and one third quarter there and as they come into the stretch it's backstreet shadow on top the lead two lengths stay hungry into the pocket spot now as he drops in for some cover from in second they come to seven eight stay hungry's back out and driving after that brief tuck backstreet shadow leads the way stay hungry on the outside trying to get to him backstreet shadow stay hungry with one late push stay hungry and backstreet shadow with the line in 149 and three Here with Doug McNair and Doug, uh, wasn't easy, but it was effective. Yeah, you know uh, the way the the draw set up, uh, I figured that that was kind of the way the race was going to go. I'd been a late first over, and uh, I knew uh, the NX horse was going to be sprinting home hard. You guys did really pace home in that final panel. I guess this is a, a nice little setup, though, as you know, obviously the big one's still to come. Yeah, you know the jugs in a couple weeks. That's kind of what they're aiming at, and uh, it was great to get a win back home. Last start ahead of this one tonight in the Messenger, you put him on front. It's the first time actually in his career that he's won on the front end uh, from start to finish. Is that his preferred trip, or is he just versatile? It doesn't really matter. Well, he's versatile. Like, obviously, a small track, I think he can do it on the front end if he has to. And, I mean, he, he raced a great race last week. He was uh, three wide all, around, all the way around the first turn, and uh, he, uh, he dug tough to uh, beat Jimmy Freight. That'd be pretty cool to win a jug and uh, do it so in triple crown fashion. Don't want to get too far ahead, but this horse obviously has to have you a little excited at least. Yeah, for sure. You know, that's all uh, they're going to be talking about from now till the jug. I mean, the triple crown and he's done two to three legs. So that's pretty special as it is. All right. Uh, best of luck with that venture and uh, congratulations on this win. Thanks, Jace. 149 and three. Doug McNair, stay hungry, winning the final Simcoe on this Saturday.